Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and let me tell you a story. So recently we were building an open source project, although we are building another one as well, but the one which is already very stable and is helping hundreds and thousands of learners, uh, we were constantly developing it. Let me show you first what the project is and then I'll, I'll tell you that what are the problems that we were facing internally with this project and how we solved them. I think this is an information which everybody should know about whether you are developing an open source project or any project at all in your company, you definitely need to watch this video. Let me show you what we are building first and uh, then you'll get the idea that what kind of problem and what scale of problem we are facing in. So this is a project that we recently came up with, Free API. And the whole idea behind that project is that there are a lot of people who want to learn API handling, not just the basic one that you make a request and get the response, the complex API which requires a store on the front end side or maybe complex request mechanism. So we built this entire thing. And if you look at the docs here, this is no ordinary joke here. If you just go ahead and take a look on this one, uh, you can see that there is public APIs and there's kitchen sink and there's whatnot. So if you go ahead and check this out, let me move this a little bit. We can see that we have chat apps, we have social media, to-do list, e-commerce, and don't just look at this as a social media. We didn't just work on just a basic controller, look at the post. There's so much things that we have done, and apart from that, we have done the entire authentication section, which is pretty complex in itself. So when you work on something which is this much of complexity is involved, it's not an easy task to work. Let me tell you what are the challenges that we are facing. First of all, with this open source project, uh, our maintainers of this project are not just sitting right behind me. We need a communication channel with them. And of course, not just the communication channel with the members or the maintainers of the project, we also need somebody to review the codes as well. So somebody who is sitting in another city uh, who need to do the code review, somebody who is a maintainer, somebody who is writing the code, contributing, planning, there's a lot of thing that's there. Another second major challenge that we have is uh, how we are going to keep our objectives straight that there needs to be an objective that uh, that every review that comes around or every request that comes around need to be reviewed in two days, let's just say, just arbitrary example. But we need to set objective, otherwise the project will just linger around. We need to set some objective. Apart from this, I would also love to see that how the maintainers are doing because they are obviously rigorously working in this project and I would love to see that what kind of contribution is coming up from which maintainer, which is an obvious thing. Even if you work in a company, there is always a GitHub repo in which some kind of uh, this exact same mechanism is required where you need to evaluate which coder is contributing how much and how much he is contributing to the project. We were facing this exact problem. And in order to solve this problem, a great company reached out to us and said, hey, we love open source and we would love to assist you. So let me just go ahead and show you this. So this company name is uh, Pulpo. It's a new project that they are designing and the best part about them is if you check out their pricing, which everybody wants to check, notice here how nicely they say free for open source project and small teams. It is some of, these are my favorite lines, that if you're building something open source, they love to contribute back to the community. Even they offer it free for the small team. So hey, big shout out to them. And we didn't just write up, for, up forward, just started to make videos on them. We use them and we rigorously use them like really, really big. So if you go ahead and check this out, uh, first of all, let me show you what this is all about because I'm pretty sure you haven't seen anything uh, good and crazy like this. So notice here, this is how they work that uh, Pulpio, first of all, the best part is it gets connect to your Slack. So anytime a new maintainer comes in, uh, you just have to put their Slack ID. And now every pull request that they make or any kind of issue they raise, that get translated to the Slack. That is really, really amazing. So I love that. So notice here, uh, this is something how they go. And another thing which I absolutely love in this is this part, where they can have the developer feedback. So not all the requests that comes around in these open source projects or even in the paid projects or the company's internal projects, you need to give feedback to the developer about the code review process, the quality, the release, all of this thing. And we can do all of this within this tool. This is something really fantastic. I have never seen anything as uh, good as like this. So I highly, highly recommend to check this out. Now let me show you how we are actually using it. So if I just go ahead and open this up. So this is how it looks like for us. We recently just started to use this. 
and it is fine. If you are an open source, I definitely recommend you to reach out to this company and check this out. So notice here, something amazing. So we integrated, I just logged in into this uh, through my GitHub, obviously. I gave the access to my free API uh, repository to this. And it started to pick up everything, like how much time we are taking in reviewing the request. So we are actually trying to reduce it down to almost one day. But now we are able to measure the metrics that how well and how good that we are doing. We're also looking up for the merge time, uh, that how much time does it take that we merge a pull request or at least give them a feedback onto this one. And notice here, uh, pretty good. We have merged pretty good uh, pull request here. Uh, and also it requests about the batch size, how this is going on all these metrics. And another thing is, we are able to put out the metrics as well. And these metrics actually gives you the notification on your Slack. <laughs> this is the best part that I absolutely love about it. So if you just go ahead and click on this uh, new objective, you can just put the objective about the cycle time, work in progress time, whatever you wish. Let's just say if you want to set up work in progress time, I would say that I need a maximum work to be done in one, not one day, uh, we need to give it more time. So let's just say, I want that the work in progress, if something maintainers is taking in their hand, and I want that this work to be done at a maximum of three days, I can just go ahead and uh, use this as a save. If a pull request fa uh, falls out outside of the defined range, uh, will be involved, nah, that's okay. I'll just go ahead and simply go ahead and save this. Now I have another uh, metric which will be tracked, and based on this, I can increase the performance of my team, maintainers, and all these things. Now, I'll show you something more that is super fun. Uh, this is the range that you can go ahead and work on with this. Now, another thing is, I can just go ahead and click on the squad, and this is where I can make my team, the team of maintainers. I go ahead and click on this, this is the maintainers, so go ahead and look forward it. And all these maintainers who are, I go here and into this one, and I can check out the each matrix of the maintainers and how they are doing. Now, interestingly, I can go into the people, and this is where the fun stuff begins. In the people section, let me just shrink this a tiny bit more here. Each members that you add in your team in the, in the repository or in the pulpo, you can just go ahead and just add their Slack uh, handle. And once you have the Slack handle, whenever they make any request or raise any issues or anything, a new channel is being created. We are actually using this now in the communication portal. So you can see, I'm not gonna, obviously not gonna expose uh, the chats that we are doing, but yes, it makes a new channel for it. So each of your requests gets a new channel and uh, you can just talk to them directly and you don't have to visit the GitHub and go through with that. Everything happens in a chat style. So anybody who wants to contribute into your repo doesn't need to go uh, much onto that. You can just talk through them with the Slack. And notice here, so many people are contributing and obviously I'm gonna reach them out and give them the Slack access that, hey, if you are interested in contributing more or talking more about the project, just give me your Slack ID, join this Slack and through which I can maintain it seamlessly. It solves so much of our headache that we absolutely loved it. And the best part is they are free for the open source and for the small team. So this is something. And there's definitely more settings. And of course, they do use AI in some of the things. So let me just show you. So this is their AI summarizer. So if somebody has requested a really long uh, suggestions issue or anything in your repository, they can just summarize this. And the summary actually comes into your Slack as well. That is something uh, that we absolutely loved it. Uh, so yes, I really like this and I thought this is a really cool tool and something new that you haven't heard about. So I thought why not to actually share them. And of course, they are contributing to the community by providing free for the open source. They deserves a big shout out that they are working so much with that. So a big shout out to the team and thank you so much for giving us the free access uh, being an open source developer. It really, really helps. If you are also an open source project or something, go ahead, reach them out. Uh, they can give you a fantastic demo as well as uh, assist the entire community. And something when a product like this is being developed and is being made available for the community for free, I think they deserve a big shout out. So you can join them directly into the community and all of that. I really love this, that how the insights and the PR channels and everything works and it seamlessly goes with that. So yeah, that's a small uh, video about uh, how we are actually facing some challenges in developing an open source project and how some of these tools makes our life just a tiny bit easier. So that's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and gained some knowledge about it. I highly recommend you to go ahead and check out the Pulpo. 
it's a new project and a fantastic one. Something little out of the box that uh, we see a lot of products every single day. But this, I found that something a little bit out of the league. So that's why I thought to share it with you. That's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed this. If you have enjoyed it, do let me know in the comment section. We have a small comment target as well. Just 100 comments. Uh, do let me know how do you like the Pulpo. If you have any thoughts around it in the comment section, I'll be checking them all out. That's it for this video. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.